Hello again, or hello for the first time, and welcome to the New York State Fairground. There's the Exposition Center. Been here a couple times before, but today we're here for the four-day extravaganza that is apparently the Camping World RV show, and it started on Thursday. Today is Saturday. I'm kind of excited to see things that we could get to travel in. We do a lot of road trips. Wouldn't that be exciting? We know literally nothing about <laughs> RVs. I, <laughs> I mean, know. except for that they exist and they have wheels on them. Yeah, they do. So have it's wheels. gonna be really funny when the salespeople are like, "What? What type are you looking for?" And we're like. Uh, we don't I, actually have room in the driveway that has for wheels. this. <laughs> Basically the roundup is there's two buildings. There's the Center of Progress building that has uh, the used ones. Yeah. And in this building they have new ones. And there are about 275 that are like all set up so you can see what it would be like yeah. to actually travel in one. They're staged. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I guess there's a bunch of spots over here. We actually parked at the other building and walked all the way here, which isn't that far. It seems further when there's the uh, fair going on. But it was a nice quick walk. So he gave us a map. This is all the stuff in this building and then the other building. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy. And then there's this. Oh, nice. You can, can enter win. into wins and stuff. You could be a winner. So we didn't know where to go, so we Did went down to the mean? end. Oh. You can just wander in it. Yeah, you want to go in here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, welcome to my home. <laughs> <laughs> so, the shower right here. That's cool. Oh my goodness. This is so big. Yeah, wow. That's like a full size bed. This is a tiny house, I think. You just can like sit on this and enter to win some chairs. Someone bought this. There's a sold sign on it outside. Oh, really? You can't yeah, look at that. Wow, hey. This little fire. TV. Watch YouTube on the thing. Maybe. Loft up there with beds. And then I think there's a gooseneck. There's like a uh, another room up there. It's like a bedroom. Two bed, two bath. Oh wait, no, okay. three bed because of the loft. Oh uh, yeah. Wow, wee. Look at that. A closet. Sheesh. I think this is bigger than our actual bedroom. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, ninety thousand dollars for that. I know we're not here to look at furniture, but look at this furniture. Look at that table. I like that. It's stylish. But yeah, they also have, um, whoa, some uh, pontoons over here. This other thing here. Yeah, those are $42,000. What a bargain. I think it's a little bit above our, our price range. This is the uh, Forest River Marine. 90 horsepower. Oh, Eddie Bauer. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's a nice, uh, oh wow, that looks nice in there. Look at that. This is pretty fancy. This has some nice green cabinets here. This, uh, and then. Do you think somebody is... turned on the game, or do you think they did this? Do you think someone was like, I yeah. just want to sit here and watch the game? Gosh, yeah, they should just uh, watch the game. Yeah. There you go. Like an outdoor kitchen. So you can yeah. uh, just hook up all your stuff. Oh, hmm. which is actually cool. Oh, they have it plugged in? Yeah. Huh. So, are they soft clothes? Oh, they are. <laughs> Look at all these. This is just this one section. I mean, this building is pretty big because um, the train fare was in here, but how do they get all these in here? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Who, who drives all these here? Because sometimes they have them all outside, and one day they're not there, and the next day it's all... It's all set up outside and that you can like drive away in one. But how do they do that? The logistics must be a nightmare. Kind of nice peninsula here. Oh, I like it. It's an air fryer oven. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh. oh my God. Oh, there's the keys. You can take it home today. Yeah, seriously. And some beds back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's snazzy. And I'm realizing that what they mean by staged is they have the doors open, the stairs are out, and they're plugged in. That's about it. But you can wander around now. <laughs> it's staged. 
Yeah, I'm surprised that they have fireplaces in these, but that's kind of smart because um, those put out a lot of heat. Yeah, there's the uh, full-size bed almost. Yeah. And some little, little closets each side. Yeah, that's the kind that I know with a truck attached, basically. Yeah. Some pretty fancy ones here. You can saw a bus over here too. Yeah, look at that. It's like driving your driving the school bus. <laughs> that's pretty wild. We'll have to. We'll have to start a band so that we can buy a bus. Like Josie the Pussycat? Yeah. Yeah, this one, everyone's interested in it. We can't even get it inside. It's $137,000. And it's got this, it's like a little garage for your scooters or whatever. <laughs> this one has wood paneling in the back. That's what I think of when I think of uh, RVs. Wood paneling. Pretty sure you can't tell that this place is pretty organized, but they have everything uh, all laid out nice, kind of bouncing around from place to place and just going where crowds are not. So uh, you can't tell that they're all actually organized. They're almost alphabetical here. Between a regular RV and a motor home. Yeah, so I didn't know that there's all these different, all this different terminology for things. Fifth wheels, travel trailers, motor homes. Um, what's the other one? At RVs. Is it like its own thing? Oh, those are Eddie Bauer hours. I don't know, but if there's and fifth then, wheels, does that mean that there are third wheels? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Last year's model. It used to be $196,123. Now it's $51,128 off. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's classy. Yeah, see, this is what I think of when I think about RVs. It's like these crazy huge Yeah, I got the seats. swivel seats with the... The thing. Yeah, do you think the <laughs> horn sounds like err, err? They just place your train in the upright position. Yeah. Look at the kitchen. This is nicer than our kitchen. <laughs> Where's their classy wallpaper, though? They don't have that. You got, oh, they had like, oh, someone turned the water on. It's got the uh, antifreeze in there. And got a cabinet up here. Nice linen closet. What kind of toilet is that? Looks like it uses water. That's nice. You find yeah, something like storage. There's a ton of cabinets. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's in there. Like extra couch cushions. There's some schmutz on it, but you can oh, hang yeah. your stuff up. That's cool. Yeah, I see why this costs uh, <laughs> more than our house. <laughs> wow. It's pretty classy. Look at the, uh, it has a headboard. Oh, look at that. Look how far that drawer comes out. It's the whole drawer. Oh, look at that. Ready? I'm gonna be Barf, you can be Lone Star. <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing in there that the reason why you think this is an RV is because of space balls. I think you're right. This is it. <laughs> I really think that's why. Look at all these buttons. Yeah, all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, wow. These seats are pretty comfy too. Very small. Very small. Yeah. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Only two cup holders. This bedroom in this one. This is nice and small. I like it. Got this full-size shower almost. Wow. Almost. And are you pretending to drive? Hey, Lone Star. We're gonna have to go to ludicrous speed. <laughs> <laughs> the seat cushions match the seats. But they have like the super foamy like seat cushions for your butt. Oh, so that's cool. Forever. You don't want a sore butt. So we stopped looking at the prices because it's beyond our budget. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Oh, look at this little motor coach. It's like a it's like a little van, yeah. big van. I mean. It's got a, cool. as big a sink as the other ones. I feel like you can actually park this in a parking lot. Yeah, without any uh, three people to spot you. Yeah. It's got like a little toilet here. This must be the shower room as well. Yeah, here are the yeah. overhead compartments. Hi. <laughs> Please put your luggage in the overhead compartment. Oh yeah, is that maybe this is, it. is this an airplane? Does this fly? <gasps> this is all you would really need, unless you're gonna spend the whole summer. Pretty fancy. Yeah, look at this. You yeah, have to start a band. All right, we're starting a band. We're gonna get one of these. <laughs> 2024 Thor Motor Coach Challenger 37FH. 
Fancy, fancy. Oh wow, oh, it's a dance floor in here. Oh, what's the lighting under the cabinet? Wow. Remote control, a junk drawer already for you. <laughs> Yeah. It's got induction and gas. Wow. It's a full size fridge, too. With a ice maker and stuff. Somebody's stuff. And then the bathroom here. I'm over here in a class this bed. Oh, it's a Craftmatic adjustable. Yeah. <laughs> and then, what else? Another bathroom back there. Yeah, there's the, the full bath. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, the shower. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, fancy. Wow. It's got like a curved track down there. Tables here. Look at these recliners. Yeah. These have been in quite a few of these. This with the cup holders. And that uh, must be the camera around the thing. Look, there's a seatbelt right here. Look at that. Okay, we're doing this. I'm going to be in right here with the seatbelt on. Wow. Be like this. Yeah. Driving the bus. Driving the bus. The little kid in there is planning on selling their parents' truck to buy this thing. Yeah. Pretty adorable. <laughs> so Winnebago. Wow. Loud music. A Vista. 194 on sale. I think you can buy toilet paper here. I didn't know you could buy toilet paper and your hoses and your power adapters. This has a patio on this I almost said house. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look at these. Checking out the cougars. A whole line of cougars, baby. Yeah, checking out the cougars. This has got like a breakfast bar and it's got little bar stools, but they've got little yeah. straps so they don't flop over when you're Fly trying to around. drive. Yeah. And I like the cool sinks in there. Yeah, I was looking at these and they're kind of cool, but they're also really not not very uh, good as far as space management. I mean, you would, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's to like just have one big stuff. Thing? Like you can put this and your toothpaste won't roll off because you can cram it back behind yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. This is a, tw a 23 Ozark. And it's got a, it's a $32,000. It comes with this fridge. Neat. And they all have like these convection microwaves. Microwave. Oh, there's another door here. Wow, we there's a bed, full size bed, and a closet. You know, what I haven't seen here are those little tiny ones, like the teardrop ones, and like the compact ones that have the fold out kitchen that's outside. I mean, these have them, but yeah. not the small ones. Like, I mean, these would be way too big for these us. Are, these are all the new ones, though. Like, maybe this is just kind of like these are what you could have. Oh, in yeah. a perfect world. <laughs> if you're, if it's in your budget. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe like the more reasonable ones are in the used section. Oh, uh, well, maybe, but. No, no, I want to see an Airstream. Nope. Well, we're leaving empty handed no. or <laughs> without an RV at least. We didn't have plans on buying an RV. No, oh, I didn't realize how big they are. They're huge and the sticker price is huge too. I, I commend anyone who has an RV. That is, uh, a, a life choice. Also, <laughs> and where do you put fun. it? Yeah, well, everyone has bigger driveways than us. We had a lot of fun just looking at them, and they're like tiny houses, some of them. Yeah, I mean, like even bigger. The yeah. planning involved is really neat because everything, all the storage is there. It's like yeah. very well thought out. First time we've been to an RV show, or even really looked into an RV. Yeah. Uh, at all, not yeah, not to like look into buying into it. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, besides space balls, yeah. I think that's the closest, and uh, Christmas vacation. Yeah, you know oh, that yeah. those are the two closest experiences I have with RVs. <laughs> I think so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We loved coming out here and seeing this. There's another show 
in February. So if you guys want to see that too, give us a shout down in the comments and we'll go to that one as long as it doesn't cost a lot of money. <laughs> we don't need to know what we're doing to go to them. It's right. just fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Leave Drop a comment down below and uh, hit thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah. Tell us your favorite RV. Was <laughs> it the Cougar? All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is how picnic tables hibernate. Okay, I'm in line. I'm gonna go. And we're gonna wait. It's gonna happen this year.